Burkina Faso is a small landlocked country. It has a population of about 17 million. Um, and it is one of the poorest countries on the continent. It doesn't have a lot of natural resources. Um, and it has a long history of uh, military coups, actually. And last year, in October 2014, uh, President Blas Kumpare was overthrown uh, by popular pressure after 27 years in power. Um, interestingly, Crisis Group published a report in July 2013, so a year before the uprising, um, saying that if Blas Kumpare uh, was going to seek to uh, maintain himself in power, then it would cause trouble, and that's pretty much what happened. This is probably uh, the most open election in Burkina Faso's history. And so an open election means uh, probably a lot of challenges, means, you know, high stakes, means a high, uh, you know, means that it will be very highly disputed. Last uh, September, just recently, when the presidential guard loyal to Blaise Compaore um, staged a coup that eventually failed. Uh, but that, you know, put the country in a serious crisis and uh, that delayed the elections that were scheduled for October to uh, the end of November. And it's important for both the actors of the transition and the new president to absolutely to resist the, the temptation of a witch hunt, uh, you know, and not to claim victory too soon and to realize that eventually even those who supported Blaise Compaoré if they haven't committed crimes, then they will need to be reintegrated in political life. And, you know, these people have ruled the country for pretty much three decades. And so, you know, we need to realize everyone needs to accept that they cannot be excluded and marginalized. And so eventually they will have to be brought back in the political game. So I think international partners, that includes the EU and its member states, uh, the U.S. is also an important partner. Um, ECOWAS is also uh, a partner, uh, so I think all these actors uh, will have to continue to follow up closely on the situation in Burkina, and especially uh, they should not consider that because the coup failed, I mean it doesn't mean that the country is out of the woods, um, and so they will have to, uh, to continue to follow up on, on the end of the transition, the elections, and what's going to come after the elections, because that's also where real challenges and the real work will have to start.